Okay, Godzilla Tokyo SOS, or if I'm reading the uh, the Japanese in the background, it's Godzilla vs. Mothra vs. Mechagodzilla Tokyo SOS. Uh, the Blenheim series, this is the only one that actually is a sequel to Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. And you see essentially the same sort of battle. Mechagodzilla has sustained some damage. So this newer version does not have the absolute zero cannon. So it has a triple hyper maser cannon. That's the uh, the lightning bolts. And they've done some modifications to some of the other you know, ancillary weaponry to it. And to make this one different, they throw in the uh, the miniature twin fairies from Godzilla vs. Mothra. And they more or less are there because using the bones of Godzilla, Mega, Mega Godzilla, is the reason why Godzilla came back. And that humans shouldn't deal with the souls of the dead. And that the bones need to be cast back into the sea. And then people are like, what if Godzilla attacks? It's okay, Mothra will help you. So yes, Godzilla fights Mothra. Godzilla, you know, does a pretty good job against Mothra. You know, the updates to Mothra, very nice. Done very well. The Godzilla-Mothra fight is your pretty standard one where, you know, Mothra does lots of speed and direction to direction to find attacks. And eventually gets kind of wounded by Godzilla. Which therefore means they bring Mechagodzilla. So you have Mechagodzilla and Mothra fighting Godzilla. But then the Mothra egg hatches to reveal two additional Mothra larvae. So for a while, the fight consists of, are you ready for this? Mothra. Two Mothra larvae. Mechagodzilla versus Godzilla. This movie probably has some of the most you know, large fighting you're going to see. And the ending, you know, when they're discussing about, you know, the reason why Godzilla exists is because of the mistakes of man. And the only way the man can redeem himself from his mistakes is to learn from them, correct them, and move on. So the philosophical standpoint, actually pretty decent. You know, all I'd probably say out of the ones I've reviewed so far, this one's actually a really solid movie. From a, a Godzilla standpoint, don't want you to think that this is up there with, you know, like the Shawshank Redemption. I mean, it, it's still a giant guy in a, a lizard suit destroying, you know, cities in Japan. But if you were to watch Tokyo, uh, Godzilla vs. Mega Godzilla and then Tokyo SOS, they actually connect and work really well together. 